the knot is that? Oh, that? That's a lovey-dovey knot. I used to use that in my costume. The one I heard, that was your costume. <laughs> oh, when the spotlight hit me and the, and the drummer started his beat, a little dove would, would fly out of the wings and untie it. Wow, what came after that? The police. <laughs> oh, uh, Commander Adrian. Oh, good morning, Trotter. I take it that happy, smiling face means that uh, you've got bad news for me. I'm in trouble, eh? Oh, well, it isn't uh, anything you haven't wiggled out of before, sir. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Uh, we just received a signal from Conflict. The fleet readiness officer is on his way here to make an efficiency report in all bases in this area. Oh. Efficiency? Boy, you are in trouble, sir. <laughs> Call me, please. You know what to do, Trotter. Uh, yes, sir. Start wiggling out procedure. Uh, wall up your wine rack, remove mushroom beds from all bomb shelters, and cover your golf course with an airstrip. Very good, Trotter. Now, carry on. I have a top priority project I must check on here in the motor pool. Aye, aye, sir. Bye. Now, Beasley, remind me to renew Trotter's loyalty. <laughs> Stop that Navy nonsense. I would like to have a progress report. Oh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. Uh, so far today, we have overhauled six generators, 12 carburetors, and we've repaired four engine blocks. Bully for you. The only thing I'm interested in is that little motor that works my rotisserie. Has it been fixed? Well, uh, no, sir. Not yet. You see, I, I kind of thought that we should get the vehicles out first. After all, there is a war going on, you know. <laughs> my dear lieutenant, without my rotisserie, there can be no Chateaubriand. And without Chateaubriand, the war is not worth fighting. <laughs> Commander! Look out! <laughs> are you all right? Oh, yes, of course I'm all right. As, as I'm so fond of saying, let the waves put you in the driver's seat. <laughs> Lieutenant, this is gross inefficiency. Inefficiency is right. You should have learned to tie a decent knot in basic training. Commander, we didn't go through basic training. We were put through on the crash program. Well, it's quite evident that you never went through basic... You, you never went through basic training. Oh, no, sir. That's interesting. That's very, that's, that's very interesting. Well, now, ladies, don't you worry your tousled little heads about about this, a, a, a mishap like this could happen to anybody. Go on, Beasley. Gee, Skipper, the commander sure changed for the better. Well, he's only got one way to go. Beasley, dust off the basic training manual. I am putting the waves through boot camp. Boot camp? Oh, now, sir, if the girls go through boot training, they'll never get their work done. They'll be exhausted, and that's not fair. And that's it, isn't it? It is indeed, little shipmate. You see, an exhausted wave is an inefficient wave, as the fleet readiness officer will discover. <laughs> Anyone might say, the waves have booted themselves off Ranakai. Oh, 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 I made it funny. Booted themselves <laughs> Dressed and ready for boot camp in 15 minutes. Boot camp? Since when do waves go to boot camp? Since now. You ladies have never had basic training, and you're going to have it right now. 
3 a.m.? He must be nuts. Gee, I can't go to boot camp. All I've got are sneakers. Oh, Ensign Beasley, orders for the day. After calisthenics, you will put these boots through the infiltration course. Abandon ship maneuvers, then I'll meet you on the parade ground for close order drill at 11 o'clock. Aye, aye, sir. See you later, Bootsy. <laughs> Attention. Begging the commander's pardon, sir, but the expression is tan hut. All right. What she said. <laughs> um, issue the rifles, Beasley. Yes, sir. Beasley, you are sure that all the bullets have been removed? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Here. Ways aren't supposed to carry rifles. I know, aren't they heavy? <laughs> All righty. Now then. Ah. Port arms. <laughs> Can't you execute a simple routine? Sir, the only routines I've ever done have been with balloons and fans. Please be sure how. Sir, I've never worked with balloons and fans. With the rifle, Beasley, the rifle. Oh. All right, now. Right shoulder, hard. Mm. Left shoulder, hard. You say it? Hard. <laughs> Sir, are you sure this is all part of basic training? Uh, oh, yes, it's very basic. <laughs> she, she's got it now, Beasley. Oh, uh, sir, but, but we didn't execute parade rest, order arms, and a lot of close order thrills. Beasley. I mean, uh, uh, drills. <laughs> that will be all. <laughs> now, let's see. How do I get them started? Oh, oh, oh yes. Right shoulder, arm. <laughs> Up the column of twos. Forward. Hodge. Hop, 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 hop. I'd like to give him a hop, top in his throat. Flop. I wonder what this one would look like. Let's see. To the rear. March. Oh, isn't that nice? You know, they, they do that. Now, how do you stop them? Well, sir, maybe if you just ask them very nicely. Uh, 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 would you? Uh, 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 sir, try, uh, try a column right. Column right. <laughs> Please! What? What? <laughs> what happened to Column Right? You forgot to say March! In November? <laughs> hey, Selma, baby! It's me, the Eranakai Dreamboat! Oh, hi, Stanley. Hi, Selma. I brought you something. Wildflowers. I picked them myself. Make it lilies and you got yourself a corpse. I was hoping that you'd wear that corsage to the dance tonight. Dance? Takes two to tango and, uh, these two just can't make it. <laughs> what happened? Stanley, for the next 90 days, there'll be no dancing, no romancing, no nothing. Just boot training. <laughs> oh! Stanley, 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 oh, what a subtle, exotic aroma. Reggie? Oh, Stanley, you're a genius. <laughs> Who else could prepare grouse and have it come out looking like franks and beans? <laughs> what happened to my grouse? No grouse for a louse. I gave it to the way. You gave it to the way? But why, Stanley, why, why? Why, why, why? You know very well why. Because of my Selma. What's the Selma? <laughs> well, if you if you've broken it, I'll have it replaced. Trotter, <laughs> see to that. Uh, he means machinist mate Kowalski, sir. Oh. I got some news for you, Chubbo. From now on, you are gonna eat low on the hog. You're gonna get nothing but beans, hash, and leftover bean hash. Unless you call off this entire cockamamie boot training. Boot training? But if you look, I, I'm just an old sea dog, Stanley, trying to do his duty. 
That order for the waves to go through boot training came directly from Comfleet. Oh, now, just a minute, Commander. The only order that came from Comfleet was the one regarding the arrival of the fleet readiness officer to make an efficiency inspection. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 Trotter. No, not that order. This is another order. You, you were gone. You, 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 you came while you were away. Well, you came while he was away. Would you say that Ranakai Fats was trying to con me? <laughs> Ranakai Fats? Ah! <laughs> Don't be silly, Stanley. Why would I con up a deceive the greatest chef since the Scoffier? Now then, I swear to you, I'm to... may Trotter be on the first plane out to the Aleutians. I'm not telling the truth, right? <laughs> oh, you know, uh, right, right, Commander. I read you loud and clear. <laughs> See there, now that's... Uh, I sure that clears up that little mess. Now let's clear this one up and bring me a proper dip there. Okay? Eat the beans. Without my Selma, I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> there must be something in the kitchen you could whip up, huh? Yes, come to think of it, I got a little fish for you. Oh, delicious, Trout. Piranha. Lime. <laughs> Just six more hours and ten more trucks. And then we could all relax on that nice 20-mile hike that Adrian's got planned for us. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Yeah. Golly, this is sure tough meat. <laughs> McGuire, you're nibbling on the screwdriver. Hi, girls. Hey, what's with the groaning board? What's the matter? Don't you like my cooking? We love it to pieces, Stanley. But it's burden the hand time. We've got to get today's work out tonight. Now, don't tell me the Commander Creep has you boot training all day and motor pooling all night. Why, that miserable rat fink. Tomorrow morning for breakfast, he's going to get instant slop. Jeep is ready to roll, ma'am. Okay, move it out and move it another bed. Truck. <laughs> Where's Selma? She was here a few minutes ago. Skipper, the darn Jeep won't start. Might be the ignition. I'll check under the hood. <laughs> Selma, baby. The cover back on. I'm cold. Come on out of there, Selma. We've got a lot of work to do. Come on, Come on out. quick. Hand down, Z Daisy. Oh, cut it out. Stanley, I told you I don't want to dance. I'm too tired to leave. <laughs> Great. No engine. That's going to look just swell on the efficiency report tomorrow. What tomorrow? The fleet readiness officer isn't due for weeks. Fleet? Fleet readiness officer? Here? Sure. Old Brass Bucket was talking about it at dinner tonight. Didn't you know about it? <laughs> no, but I think I know what he's up to. Ann, illusions or no illusions, I've just got to tell you, that boot training order was a phony. A phony? A request permission to belt commander. Me too. I mean, I'm Boy, that's not, I've never heard anything. Uh, all right, now, girls, simmer down. Adrian's formula is quite clear. Boot training plus inefficiency equals no waves, right? You're right. Now, what are you going to do, Ann? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give Adrian a boot. <laughs> that's right, Stanley. Only we're going to give it to him the way he gave it to us, with a phony order. Gee, Skipper, you've got that Adrian look. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like him too, fast and sneaky. Come on, everybody, it's huddle top. Boot training? Me? <laughs> well, the, 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 this is positively ridiculous. There must be some mistake. I, I came up the hard way to where I am now. The commander's I, right. It was through his wife's brother, who is a congressman. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir, but I just thought they should know those kind of strings are not easy to pull. I'm afraid you have no uh, wiggling out procedure for this one, sir. It's a direct order from Comfleet. Oh, Comfleet, Comfleet. They've got a one-track mind. War, war, war. <laughs> the order uh, specifically states that all personnel who have never taken basic training will do so at once. Uh, the waves have completed theirs, and according to our records, which I diligently searched, you were the only one left who qualifies. Stop floating, Trotter. After all, how can they tell whether I take boot training or not? Uh, uh, sir, there's another part of the order that specifically states that you are to take your training under the supervision of the ranking boot camp officer. And, and that's, that's you. me. <laughs> sir, it looks like you have created your own monster. Shall we say calisthenics at 0500-ish? All righty, all right. I 
I suppose a little limbering up before cocktails never hurt anyone. <laughs> Sir, for your information, 0500 is 5 a.m. You mean there's a 5 a.m. too? <laughs> Good luck, sir. Good luck, me, Beasley. Look here, where I go, you go. What happens to me happens to you. Uh, uh, yes, sir, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I don't mean to sound ungrateful. Ungrateful? Listen, the commander even lets me take his flu shots for him. <laughs> Why, this used to fit me like a glove. Maybe you put on a little weight around the knuckles. <laughs> Coochie tail, all present and accounted for, ma'am. Very good. Take over, McGuire. <laughs> all right, boot. Suck in that gut, throw those shoulders back, and pull in that chin. Good. Now the other one. <laughs> now hear this. First thing we're going to do is deep breathing exercises. In cadence. <laughs> but first, we're going to see if you can count to two. Count on. One, two. I don't hear you! Two. I still don't hear you. Uh, well, maybe if you cupped your hand to your ear and stood a little closer... Get back to... in that <laughs> I assume the push-up position. One, two. One, two. Speed it up, speed it up. Uh, Commander, would you like me to send down to the motor pool for a jack? <laughs> Heaven's sakes, this, this is absolutely ridiculous. Crawling on our stomachs like a snake. <laughs> it's what's known as infiltration, sir. The waves did it. Now let's show them that we're better men than they are. All right, we'll show the gas. The enemy's all around. All right, McGuire. <laughs> now they're all around. You've got to get them before they get you. Like this. Remind me to be nicer to her. <laughs> There's one! Stop firing, you dumb soul! You hit me right in the canteen! Uh, well, uh, don't, don't worry, sir. I I've still got plenty of water. Water? That's sauterne! <laughs> getting to be a lovely war. <laughs> okay, McGuire. Oh, Are any of them still standing? Uh, yes, sir. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. They're shooting back. <laughs> All right, take five. Sir, uh, that means that we have five minutes to rest. Don't be ridiculous, Beasley. If I rested now, my body might go into shock. <laughs> sir, uh, sir, do, do you, you see what I see? Where? No, uh, over there. <laughs> No question about it, Beasley. That's a mirage. <laughs> that mirage smells like turkey tetrazine. <laughs> Is it he? It is he! Stanley! Stanley! 
me. Oh, it's you. Oh, shuffle mine. You have made my day. I could kiss you. Two, and I'll belt you with my salad bowl. <laughs> now, what is your pleasure? I have some uh, flakes of pheasant breast Diablo. Oh, the commander goofed. He thought it was turkey tetrazzini. <laughs> Shows what he knows. I also have tartuffe de buff. I have some trout amandine. And I also have uh, veal nichoise stuffed with capers. Oh, don't you stop, stop, stop. You're killing me, stop. I'll try a bit of each one. <laughs> oh, stop you, you peasant. What kind of a barbarian are you? Are you going to eat your entree before your salad? <laughs> now, what kind of dressing would you like on it? I got, uh, well, let's see, I got Roquefort, French. No, 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 no. Everyone knows that the only kind of salad dressing that pleases the gourmet's palate is Stanley Stubbs's own. Oh, yeah, I forgot that one. Well, I'll have to go get some. We're a little pressed for time. Don't worry. I'll just take French. French. Okay, French. Right. A little French in there. And then we'll just... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait till I toss it! Here we there go. We are. No. Ah, that is just... The road, buddy. You just blew it. Oh, 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 Beasley, do you know where we are? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Let's see. Uh, uh, well, we're uh, 86 degrees north longitude and 40 degrees east latitude. We're lost. <laughs> Look at those blisters. I'll never be able to rub a salad bowl again. <laughs> Lieutenant! Lieutenant, it's panic time. Trotter is coming with Captain Carlton. Who's Captain Carlton? That's a fleet readiness officer. The fleet readiness officer. He came a week early. Oh, let's go, kids. Last one in Australia is a rotten egg. No, it's no use, Selma. Here comes the big brass. Ted Hut! That is. Commander Adrian about? He's about two miles out there, abandoning ship. What ship? Well, it's not exactly a ship, sir. It's, uh, well, it's, uh, it's part of boot training. <laughs> Boot training? A commander? <laughs> Why didn't I stay home and become an air raid warden? Furthermore, Commander, by voluntarily undergoing the rigors of basic training, you've earned my deepest respect. Well, I didn't exactly uh, volunteer, sir. Didn't you hear that that order came... Uh, Commander, why don't you let the captain finish commending you, sir? Now I can see why your base rated the efficiency E. <laughs> Actually, I would never allow any of my personnel to do anything that I would do myself. <laughs> uh, right, Lieutenant? Right, sir. No? It wouldn't be a bad idea if everyone took a refresher course in basic training. Especially you junior officers. <laughs> oh, but, sir, I took it in ROTC. I took it again when I was drafted. I took it with the waves, and I just took it again with the commander. It only goes to prove, Beasley, that you really can take it. <laughs>
lovey... What kind of a knot is that? Oh, that? That's a lovey-dovey knot. I used to use that in my costume. From what I heard, that was your costume. <laughs> when the spotlight hit me and the, and the drummer started his beat, a little dove would, would fly out of the wings and untie it. Oh, what came after that? The police. <laughs> oh, uh, Commander Adrian. Oh, good morning, Trotter. I take it that happy, smiling face means that uh, you've got bad news for me. I'm in trouble, eh? Oh, well, it isn't uh, anything you haven't wiggled out of before, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble. Uh, we just received a signal from Conflict. The fleet readiness officer is on his way here to make an efficiency report in all bases in this area. Oh. Efficiency? Boy, you are in trouble, sir. <laughs> oh, Beasley, you know what to do, Trotter. Uh, yes, sir. Start wiggling out procedure. Uh, wall up your wine rack, remove mushroom beds from all bomb shelters, and cover your golf course with an airstrip. Very good, Trotter. Now, carry on. I have a top priority project I must check on here in the motor pool. Aye, aye, sir. Bye. Now, Beasley, remind me to renew Trotter's loyalty. <laughs> and fans. With the rifle, Beasley, the rifle. Oh. All right, now. Right shoulder. Huh. Mm. Left shoulder. Huh. Your hand. Huh. Sir, are you sure this is all part of basic training? Uh, oh, yes, it's very basic. Go on, she, she's got it now. Uh, sir, but, but we didn't execute parade rest, order arms, and a lot of close order thrills. I mean, uh, drills. <laughs> that will be all. Now, let's see. How do I get them started? Oh, oh, oh yes. Right shoulder, arm. <laughs> Up the column of twos. Forward, hodge. Hop, 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 hop. I'd like to give him a hop, top in his throat. <laughs> I wonder what this one would look like. Let's see. To the rear, Mars. Oh, isn't that nice? Well, they, they do that. Uh, how do you stop them? Well, sir, maybe if you just ask them very nicely. Uh, 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 would you? Uh, 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 sir, try, uh, try a column right. Column right. Uh, please. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> What happened to Column Right? You forgot to say March. In November. <laughs> hey, Selma, baby. It's me, the Aranakai Dreamboat. Oh, hi, Stanley. Hi, Selma. I brought you something. Wildflowers. I picked them myself. Make it lilies and you got yourself a corpse. I was hoping that you'd wear that corsage to the dance tonight. Dance? Takes two to tango, and uh, these two just can't make it. What happened? Stanley, for the next 90 days, there'll be no dancing, no romancing, no nothing. Just boot training. I made a funny. Booted the top, 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 top. <laughs> Beasley, orders for the day. 
After calisthenics, she will put these boots through the infiltration course. Abandon ship maneuvers, then I'll meet you on the parade ground for close order drill at 11 o'clock. Aye, aye, sir. See you later, Bootsy. <laughs> Attention. Begging the commander's pardon, sir, but the expression is tan hut. All right. What she said. <laughs> um, issue the rifles, Beasley. Yes, sir. Beasley, you are sure that all the bullets have been removed? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Commander, ways aren't supposed to carry rifles. I know, aren't they heavy? <laughs> All righty. Now then. Ah. Port arms. Oh! <laughs> Can't you execute a simple routine? Sir, the only routines I've ever done have been with balloons and sand. Oh, Stanley, 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 Stanley. Oh, it's a, what a subtle, exotic aroma. Reggie? Oh, Stanley, you're a genius. <laughs> Who else could prepare grouse and have it come out looking like franks and beans? <laughs> what happened to my grouse? No grouse for a louse. I gave it to the way. You gave it to the way? But why, Stanley? Why? 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 You know very well why. Because of my Selma. What's the Selma? <laughs> well, if, you'll, if you've broken it, I'll have it replaced. Try to see to that. Uh, he means machinist mate Kowalski, sir. Oh. I got some news for you, Chubbo. From now on, you are gonna eat low on the hog. You're gonna get nothing but beans, hash, and leftover bean hash. Unless you call off this entire cockamamie boot training. Boot training? But if you look, I, I'm just an old sea dog, Stanley, trying to do his duty. That order for the waves to go through boot training came directly from Compley. Oh, now, just a minute, Commander. The only order that came from Comfleet was the one regarding the arrival of the fleet readiness officer to make an efficiency inspection. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 Trotter. No, not that order. This is another order. You, you were gone. You, you, you came while you were away. Well, you came while he was away. Would you say that Ranakai Fats was trying to con me? <laughs> Ranakai Fats? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly, Stanley. Why would I con up a deceive the greatest chef since the Scoffier? Now then, I swear to you, I'm to, may Trotter be on the first plane out to the Aleutians. I'm not telling the truth, right? Oh, right. You know, uh, right, right, Commander. I read you loud and clear. Right, see there now. That's uh, I know that uh, clears up that little mess. Now let's clear this one up and bring me a proper dip there. Okay? Eat the beans. Without my Selma, I'm just not in the mood. Oh, there, there must be something in the kitchen you could whip up, huh? Yes, come to think of it, I got a little fish for you. Oh, delicious, Trout. Piranha. Lime. <laughs> Cheer up, girls. Just six more hours and ten more trucks. And then we could all... Head up! <laughs> Please, uh, will you stop that Navy nonsense? I would like to have a progress report. Oh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. Uh, so far today, we have overhauled six generators, 12 carburetors, and we've repaired four engine blocks. Bully for you. The only thing I'm interested in is that little motor that works my rotisserie. Has it been fixed? Well, uh, no, sir. Not yet. Uh, you see, I, I kind of thought that we should get the vehicles out first. After all, there is a war going on, you know. <laughs> my dear lieutenant, without my rotisserie, there can be no Chateaubriand. And without Chateaubriand, the war is not worth fighting. Commander! Look out! Commander, are you all right? Oh, yes, of course, I'm all right. As, as I'm so fond of saying, let the waves put you in the driver's seat. <laughs> Lieutenant, 
This is gross inefficiency. Inefficiency is right. You should have learned to tie a decent knot in basic training. Commander, we didn't go through basic training. We were put through on the crash program. Well, it's quite evident that you never went through basic... You, you never went through basic training? Oh, no, sir. That's interesting. That's very, that's, that's very interesting. Well, now, ladies, don't you worry your tousled little heads about, about this. A, a mishap like this could happen to anybody. Come on, Beasley. Gee, Skipper, the commander sure changed for the better. Well, he's only got one way to go. Beasley, dust off the basic training manual. I am putting the waves through boot camp. Boot camp? Oh, now, sir, if the girls go through boot training, they'll never get their work done. They'll be exhausted, and that's not fair. And that's it, isn't it? It is indeed, little shipmate. You see, an exhausted wave is an inefficient wave, as the fleet readiness officer will discover. <laughs> then one might say, the waves have booted themselves off Ranakai. Oh, oh, oh. 